Mom. See that? The the whole tower! Focus for once, Quill. Entire worlds depend on it. I thought you and Pim had it all figured out, Tony. We've just gotta get your gizmo up and running, and we're good. Planet? I mean, planets safe, right? Sure, but that only works if both Earths don't get blown to pieces so, as usual, it's up to me to guard the galaxy. Some things never change. Black Widow here. Aim is on the move. Quill, stay on target. I know what I'm doing here, lady. Trust me. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Ugh. How come this hero stuff never gets any easier? There you are, you busy bees. Sorry guys, no time to talk. Oh! The world's at stake in all that. Admit it, dude, it's over. Come on! I didn't mean it was over for me! Widow! You really took her! I care about our mission, which you almost blew. So pull yourself together and head to the meeting point. Point A clear. Moving to point B. Enemy sighted! Open fire! Seriously, boys. Why can't we all just get along? Point B clear. Antimatter bomb located. Moving on to the next. Not so fast! You're fighting against the facts. Science will save us all! The only solution your big brains could come up with was a bomb. Sometimes sacrifices need to be made for the greater good. Oh, 
hope you're willing to add your name to that list. <clears throat> Sacrifice accepted! In the name of the Goddess! Appreciated, Storm. Let's secure the bomb and head back to the meeting. You heroes seem to have missed the point. AIM has designed our salvation! If one world must die so that we can live, so be it! Be thankful we are willing to get our hands dirty. Those tiny hands of yours can't save us. That'll take a real genius like me. Leave this one to the heroes, Modok. You say that every time, but you're always wrong. Iron Man! You really should show your superiors more respect! Two of them? Ugh. You got this, kid? Do I have a choice? I didn't think so. Look out! Coming through! Yikes! Too close! Matter bomb ready for launch. <laughs> Less chatter and more action. Launch the bomb already. Are you certain my world is the one that needs to die? One more complaint and we'll send you back to die yeah. with it. Okay, steady, Spidey. You got this. You got this. Ready? Okay. Whip. Yes. Got it. Sorry to ruin the latest meeting of the enormous head club, fellas, but we've got two Earths to save. Gotta swing! 
Stop this instant, spider freak! Convergence is mere moments away! We devised the only viable solution! Killing an entire world to save yourself? Not an option! Sorry! Don't you see? You're dooming us all! Nope. Actually, we're saving everyone. And I thought one of you was in the way. <laughs> you will pay for underestimating the Modox! has defeated you on countless Earths, Captain! <laughs> what?! All that knowledge in those brains, yet you use it to destroy life, not preserve it. Such a shame. Perhaps what we need instead of science is a bit of magic. No one dies today. Not on any world. Kill them!
It's over, heroes! <laughs> Someday you will thank AIM for this! No, we do not need to resort to such violent acts. Vision. All systems are go. If our calculations are correct, we can reverse the convergence. Hank Pym reporting. Convergence engines are online. Activating now. Severe fluctuation in the wave frequency of the Convergium particles. We can't fail. Sir, the, the particles. They aren't synchronizing like we thought. Engine all agents. The convergence engines have failed. Initiate evacuation protocol. Try your best. But there may be one more thing that can be done. If the convergence process cannot be stopped, perhaps I can use my density altering abilities in tandem with these engines. to bring our worlds together in a more harmonious manner. The Earth will be born anew. Take care of it, my friends. It was an honor saving the world with you all. Research on the continuing convergence process has been going smoothly. What's the latest status on our primary Earth? It's been hard to keep up as the landscape shifts, but we've identified a number of new Earths that have merged with our own. Like this Earth, that was a refuge for immigrants from Xandar. And another, where Asgardians built a shared kingdom. Thankfully, We've managed to build friendly relationships with them, so far. Not all of them. We've absorbed entire regions that could end up as potential threats. It could be worse. Without vision, none of this would even exist including us. The world isn't perfect. 
but we're making progress. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of what we've managed to accomplish in such a short time. We figured that out when you named it New Stark City. Things might be under control for the moment, but we're gonna have to keep fighting if we want to end this crisis for good. And there's only one group up for a task that big. Earth's last line of defense. Omega Flight. So, how many of you do we have on board so far? I've lost count. Our forces are strong, sir. But in a crisis this big, we could always use more soldiers. Area secure. No sign of... before anyone else shows up. Optimizing systems.
Lab should be this way. What? I was wondering when you'd show your metal face, Stark. You're just in time to test the improvements I've made to your designs. <laughs> Something tells me they're not up to my standards, Modok. Just like you. Over, Modoc. I've purged all my data from AIM systems. Wait, that energy reading. Fool! You have no idea what the future truly holds, do you? But you will learn soon enough. For a guy with such a big brain, he sure does spout a lot of nonsense. I wish you were right. Uh, these scans can't be right. You're me? Remember your theory about alternate realities? Well, I'm your proof. Unfortunately, those dimensions are in danger. We need your help. More than one Tony Stark. Huh, I think I can handle that. Let's hope the universe can.